Welcome back everybody, Chris Jones back with the world's worst fishing again. I'm back from vacation and uh, we're back out here uh, in the fish cave. Uh, we're doing orders today, um, follow up, or well not follow up orders, but I'm catching up on orders. But I wanted to do a quick popular colors tutorial. I've gotten several requests now for motor oil. And motor oil is one of those chameleon colors. Uh, it changes colors in the water. Some are more brown, some are more, more green. But everyone loves the effect that when you take the worm, you throw it in the water, it changes colors. And, uh, and it's a really, really cool worm. It's an old color. Uh, but it's still really effective and it's kind of forgotten. Not many guys seem to throw it a whole lot, well at least that I know. Um, but I guess some people do because I've been getting requests to make this color. So today I'm going to show you how to make motor oil and we're going to go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so there's two ways to make motor oil. Number one is to buy some motor oil color. Uh, Ta-da! That's the secret. Um, <laughs> But no, seriously, that's obviously the easiest way. And I used to have some, but I ran out a long time ago and I just, I don't really sell motor oil much. And uh, so I haven't really needed to buy more. But the good news is you don't have to have actual motor oil color to make motor oil. You're basically just going to blend a brown and a chartreuse. And one thing about motor oil, it's a very see-through translucent color. You don't want it to be very thick, so you're not going to add a whole lot of colorant as a rule. And if you want yours more green, uh, you know, because motor oil has that distinct green hint to it, you can always green it up with something a little more uh, deliberate here. So we're going to jump right in. So this is just Carolina pumpkin. This is the most brown color that I have. So we're just going to add a few drops here. And there's 10 drops, so to speak. And the chartreuse, these bottles aren't as good. I can't get precise drops as, as well. But we're just gonna add some in here. And I want mine to be pretty green. So for starters, we're gonna add more chartreuse than brown and see what happens here. not looking too bad from what I can tell and and, and and again you really don't know what you have until you cook it uh, that's just <clears throat> unfortunately that's that's just the way it is with with lures uh, some are gonna turn out great the first time some not so much I think that needs a little more brown so we're gonna add a few more drops here bring the drop count up to 15 or so 14 or 15, I didn't actually count. Keep stirring. And just for green measure, we're gonna add a little bit of this. And some people add a little bit of red to it as well. Um, some motor oils look really red. And uh, I think it just depends on preference. So, you know, it's actually not a bad idea to add some red. We might do that actually. And red is very strong, so we don't want to add too much. This is just straight cherry red. So we're gonna add a few drops here. Stir her in. Maybe one more. Okay. and for good measure. Don't think you can have enough chartreuse. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna cook this up and see what happens. And before we forget, a little bit of heat stabilizer. Never hurt anybody, except your bank account. It's like $52 a gallon. And again, don't wanna overheat 900 watt microwave, about three minutes per cup and you should be good to go without uh, dulling the color or scorching the plastic. 
Looks like liquid hot magma when you uh, degas it warm. Pretty cool. Okay, so here's what we have, and I don't see enough green to it. So we're going to add some more chartreuse, and then we're going to add some green. And the, the kicker here is to not get it too thick. You know, this color still needs to be quite a quite see-through in in my opinion that's when it's you know, that's when it's at its best and it honestly looks like that see now now that has a good chartreuse hint to it but it honestly looks like it needs to be a little more red so we're gonna add a little more here I really like the motor oil color that you get straight from spike it it has a lot of that red in it. Yeah, that's looking good. Red, brown, and chartreuse. And uh, boy, what a cool effect. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this back up a little bit and then, uh, and then take another look at it. Okay, so I think I have something that's gonna work. And um, we're just gonna shoot some trick worms with it and see how those came out. Well, see how those come out, sorry. We're gonna draw up. And that's kind of what we have. And uh, I don't know if the green from the chartreuse hint really comes through all that well on camera, but that's looking about right. Yes. There it is. It could actually even use a little more chartreuse. But that is a really good homemade <laughs> recipe for motor oil that you can do and um, it's got a really great chartreuse green sheen to it and once you put that in water it should even look more green you know it, it changes colors and uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with those I would definitely sell that as motor oil and like I said it could even be a little more green and even be more translucent so kind of water down the formula a little bit um, but that actually looks really good and uh, yeah we're gonna go ahead and make some other stuff with it too but wait there's more you could do the split tails with these with chartreuse and it looks great uh, I know zoom does a uh, motor oil with chartreuse tail and now we're gonna do it too All right, here's the grand unveiling. Butimus. Butimus. There it is. Still a little gooey. <laughs> so we're gonna lay them down for the time being and kind of let them dry up. Okay, here's the end result. That is motor oil, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you know, you can, this is a color I think you can really experiment. You can make it uh, more brown than red. You can make it uh, really chartreuse, uh, more green. And, and I think it's all still motor oil. And, um, and that's what's cool about these older colors. Um, you know, kind of like black grape and you know, some of the older colors that didn't have any glitter in them. Um, there's room for a lot of uh, experimentation. Um, and, and I think you're always gonna get a motor oil that you like. Uh, well, a motor oil that works, as long as you just combine some sort of brown and red and some sort of chartreuse and green, you're gonna get something. This just seems to be the more modern approach to it. It's a little more red, which is really the color of motor oil. And if you go really red, you can probably call it transmission fluid if you get it really, really, really dark red. But the chartreuse tail is a really good effect. 
there's another area that you can really experiment with and you can come up with some really cool stuff that your competition probably doesn't have. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for today's Motor Oil Popular Colors episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't made, I have not made motor oil probably about, probably about four years now. And um, you know, back when I first got started, I didn't have any actual motor oil color. So this is how I made it, is I, I mixed up, you know, chartreuse and brown and reds and things like that. And um, you know, this is, a, a good way to do it if you don't have the actual colorant yourself or if you do have the colorant yourself you can always add to it you can you know you don't have to just use straight out of the bottle you can use uh, you know your, your favorite motor oil colorant you know whether it's MF spike it um, what are some other ones uh, dead on plastics is, is now coming out with some colors and uh, those guys seem to really have it on the ball and you can add more red, you can add more chartreuse, and even build upon the standard colors that you can buy. But if you just wanna make it from scratch, or if you don't have any motor oil color, that's what today was for. And uh, thanks to everyone who, uh, who has subscribed. Um, your support helps keep the channel going, and um, hopefully uh, that will satisfy some of the people who wanted to see motor oil. And uh, we're going to get to work on some orders now, but thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on the world's worst fishing.